Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are in Dubuque, Iowa today, which is about a 30 minute drive from Potosi. And I'm going around a bunch of different stores picking up supplies for the farm day. And my next stop is going to be a stop for me because Ryan needs a new pair of boots. So I'm going to Tyson's Home Farm and Auto. Um, basically the boots that I have now, every time I go to take a step, there's a gap about that much. And that means that every time I step in a puddle or basically any kind of wet ground, my socks just soak up all that moisture and then I'm walking around with wet feet all day. So I'm gonna head over to Tyson's. They have boots that, they're typically the place that I go to to buy Georgia boots, which is the brand that I usually get. Um, I typically tend to stick with Georgia boot. People have asked me in the past what kind of boots I wear. Uh, don't ask me why. I think they're most the most comfortable out of all the brands that I've tried. Uh, maybe it's just because I have big feet. I don't really know. But uh, a little bit of history about Tyson's. All I really know is that they started off in 1927 and they primarily used to sell when they first opened was tires and batteries. But they've really expanded their inventory over the years uh, to include boots. They've got stuff for beekeepers and people who handle horses. They've got cattle handling equipment, um, Carhartt stuff, basically just anything that a handyman could use on the farm or at home, um, they've got it. And that's why I tend to go there for boots because they have a pretty wide selection. Um, if I find one that I don't like, typically I can find one of the same brand the, of a different style. So they have a pretty pretty good inventory. Uh, Jamie claims that they have popcorn as well. Uh, every time we drive by there, she's like, hey, wanna go get some free popcorn? <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna pick up a new pair of boots. I have permission because this video is sponsored by Tyson's to go in and film in the store, which is pretty special because most stores do not allow you to go in and film. Uh, this is the first store that I've actually gotten permission to go in and uh, film. So let's go over there and uh, check it out. Ooh, they're busy today. Now, I'm generally a person who, when I go to a place, uh, particularly any store, I'm one who just runs to what I want and then I get out. I probably walk like four miles an hour just through Walmart. I never even knew that they would sell kayaks here. That's pretty cool. Pool noodles. One more. As much as I hate to say it, one thing I really do need is a push lawnmower. There are just too many places that I can't get to with my lawnmower. So now I'm standing here with Pete Tyson. He's a member of the Tyson family. Now, Pete, could you tell us a little bit more about Tyson's history? Yeah, so we're obviously, like you said, a family-run business. Um, now, four generations strong. Uh, my great-grandfather started it here in Dubuque in 1927, so we just uh, celebrated our 91st year in business. Um, but like I said, downtown Dubuque uh, started out with tires and batteries, and uh, you know now we're 24 stores across Iowa and Wisconsin, and uh, as you can see, doing quite a bit more than just tires and batteries. Oh yeah, so. the store has grown quite a bit since even I was a kid. There's mm -hmm. a lot more stuff in it, and I think that's pretty cool seeing it grow, even from like a consumer perspective. Uh, being on the other side of it, it yeah. it's pretty cool seeing it grow. Yeah, we just uh, you know are trying to tailor to everyone's needs, and as needs have grown, uh, so have we. So we're just really appreciative of all the community support and you know great farmers like you that uh, um, keep us in business. Cool. So Pete, could you tell us a little bit more about the community programs that Tyson's is involved with? Yeah. So one of our mottos is supporting those who support us, um, and so that. That brings the, the 4-H, um, FFA um, folks, but then we're also involved in a lot of other community events. Uh, we, we do a lot with the United Way. We do a big campaign for the American Heart Association, Alzheimer's Association, and then uh, one of our biggest uh, programs is our More For Your Community program, which is a grant program where um, we try to focus on the basic needs of um, uh, children and families, so that's like food, okay. shelter, safety, health, um, and that's a company-wide. Last year we did over $300,000 worth of grants to oh, those programs. Cool. So, Generally, um, where does that money get sent out to, or what 
I guess, how do how do people get access to programs like that? Uh, they have to apply for it. Okay. Um, most nonprofits know, um, kind of go through a number of different grants. Yep. Uh, it goes towards projects, and it really changes each year um, and each community. So, um, yeah, we, we change it up every year. That's good that Tyson's is involved with the community. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a, a big part of who we are. Um, whenever we add a new store or go anywhere, we're, uh, you know, we always look for um, you know, organizations that we can help out because, you know, those who support us, we want to support them. Good. All right. So, obviously, you're a Tyson. So, uh, it is a family-run business. What was it like growing up being involved with a family business like this? It's a lot like farming. Yeah. And I, I think that's pretty cool. I, I mean, it's not very huge, and it's pretty regional. That's... Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty successful family business. So, yeah. what was it like? Yeah, just, I mean, from when I was a young kid, we only had a couple stores, and now we're we're up to over 24. Um, so it's it's been a lot of different things. Um, you know, it's been fun. I've, I've been in ads as a kid. Whenever they needed a, a little kid to model some clothes, I, I got to do that. We, uh, you know, grand opening, I was always there popping popcorn, um, cleaning up, kind of doing miscellaneous things. And then, um, you know, one of my favorite things was uh, in parades, when we were doing parades, just town parades, yeah. uh, got to pass out candy, got to drive the go-karts during the parades, so <laughs> cool. yeah, it was, that was, that was fun, so um, now being a part of the family business, um, officially, it's, it's come a long way since when I was a little kid, yeah. So farmers rely pretty heavily on people like Pete here to get their supplies for their farms, and I think it's pretty important that communities do have basic necessities accessible for things such as like chicken feed or feed for their animals and I think that's pretty cool that Tyson's has expanded over time to kind of provide to try to just basically be the one source for a lot of farmers needs yeah like I said we started out as tires and batteries because that's what the need was and um, you know now we're standing in the farm department here and um, you know we're expanding to clothing footwear automotive sporting goods um, you know pet so it's, so it's a lot different than it was 90 years ago. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for stopping yeah. and talking to me, Pete. Yeah, I appreciate for coming it. In. Yeah, I we'll gotta see you soon. Go out and find myself a pair of boots now. Sounds good. <laughs> I think we can help you out with that. All right. So this is my typical style of boot. Uh, I, however, am not one who really likes the safety toed boots. Uh, a lot of people need them for like working in factories and stuff. But um, as far as like on the farm, I can't say that I've ever really required them. And over time, they tend to dig into my feet. So this is the same style boot. Uh, it is Georgia boot, no steel toe. Uh, to me, I mean, it's the most comfortable ones that I've found for my feet. Um, I've heard that the, oh, where are they? I guess they're not in this row. The Red Wings are pretty good too. Uh, I, I used to wear those all the time as well, but um, I tried on the Georgia boot and they're, they were just a little bit more padded. Um, the style at the time was just a little bit more padded and it was more comfortable. So I'm gonna take this out and try it on. I just gotta find a pair of my size. So there's the difference about a year makes. Back when we were still doing dairy, my boots would only last like six months unless I kept oiling them up. Um, I don't know, I know Red Wing makes oil. I'm sure most of the boot brands do. But you can buy boot oil that you just put on your boots every month or so. And it really does quite a bit to extend the life of the boot. Probably the number one reason why I come here for my boots is because of the wide variety. Uh, they're constantly, boot makers are constantly changing their styles. They've got Cat, they have Red Wing, they have Georgia Boot, Wolverine. Um, 
Rocky, DeWalt, Timberland, some boot brands that I've never even heard of. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, just because I'm particular to Georgia boot doesn't mean that any of them aren't as good. I mean, I just, they work well with my feet and I know what I like, so I just stick with it. Yeah, I definitely need one of these for the farm day. <laughs> I was thinking how I'm going to keep the uh, entry gate out of the sun. This is probably the best option. I said I'm eating popcorn right now. You should be really jealous. So I'm going to walk around and try to find five things that we could use on the farm today. Shouldn't be too hard. All right. Well, I didn't expect to put the first one I came across in the basket. <laughs> when we were working on the roof out at my place, uh, I was walking around looking for a scoop shovel. So I'm going to go ahead and find four more things that if money wasn't a concern today, I would go I would buy but I think I've pretty well reached my limit today <laughs> I wasn't really planning on getting the uh, tent but I feel that that's now it's pretty important for the farm day uh, probably a drill because the one that I have is pretty well shot and a farm can never have never have too many drills it's number two yeah. it's got stuff plugged into it well it's battery power it could be Maybe it's just for if you don't have overhead lighting or anything when you're doing construction. It's a bear tool, so I guarantee this has a This doesn't have a battery in it, so All right. it could, yeah, it could be wireless. But That's neat. For display purposes. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. I think you can control it on your phone too, maybe. But really? I think that's Bluetooth. Well, a sweet shop light would be pretty cool. I think number four is going to be a little bit of a surprise for Rocket. No farm dog is completely happy without his toys. <laughs> All right. And number five, I believe, probably more buckets because farm can never have too many buckets. Pink is a little unique. All right, well, time to head on home. Oh man, if mom was with me, she'd drag me into the garden center. 25% off nursery stock. Yeah, I would definitely buy one of these things for my kids. I think it's good for young ones to learn physics at an early age. 